Today, folks, we are doing something a little bit different, and we are going to be talking about my new lid, the Shoebirth S3. Spoiled brew. <laughs> Right, so first off, I have the C5 in mm -hmm. my black, and if I'm honest, it's actually my go-to lid. I wear it a lot, I love the comms, I love the fit. I was a bit, oh, I don't know about the flip lid, but actually, I suffer from claustrophobia, <laughs> and sometimes if I can't get my lid off, I just go, and I'm fine, <laughs> and I like it. But, and now I'm getting this one. I'm so excited. Well, it is a full face, isn't it? Yes. So, so it, it is that, that difference. You'll get all the benefits of this, which we'll go into kind of later. Mm -hmm. um, but without the bit that a lot of people don't like, which is a lot of people don't like flip lids. And that's fine. It's yep. okay. Because we have this option. We do indeed. To complement it. So you want a full face, but you want everything that Shoe Birth stands for. All the things you love, the quietness, the comms, you do your sat nav. Yes, in my sat nav. I've got my um, camera as well. Yeah. And when we fit the camera... I remember someone saying, oh, you know, all that stuff in, that, in the lid might be really uncomfortable. It's not at all. No, not because, at all. because there was room and stuff to, to actually get it all fitted properly. So you can have all the benefits of what is the best flip lid on the market, but in a full face. Nice. Let's get in it. So here's my new lid. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the specs. Okay, quick version? Quick version. Um, Okie dokie. Right, well, obviously, you have this awesome outer shell. Don't forget, basically, this is this. Yes. The difference C5. being full face, flip up lid. Okay. Okay, yeah. basically, okay. A normal full face, flip up lid is what I mean. But th that means that this, the S3, has the same internal shell of, made of carbon fibre like this, like this one does. Okay. Which is very, very cool. Okay, all the optics are class one, whether that's a, a smoked visor or a clear visor. It's, honestly, these I still think these are possibly the best visors I've ever looked through. The clarity is, is unreal, right? Okay, yes. Agreed. Agreed. Um, we've got the venting, so you have two vents here. One vent for the rider, uh, the other vent specifically. You can if you actually look here, you can see That's for the... Visor. Yeah, well, one specifically for the visor. I think it's also worth saying that the clear visor comes with a pin lock already fitted okay. as well, which is very cool. Um, you've got some more venting up here. You've got the exhaust vents here as well uh, the yeah. venting really i mean the the c5 we when we went away during summer did your head get hot at all once because no. we both had our c5s on didn't we yeah, yeah no not not even once and furthermore there are filters oh okay oh yeah yeah you you did know that i you did just know forgot. that yeah. I forgot. <laughs> there are filters in here which you can remove and clean so they you know they get all the crappy road dust and maybe i should do that yeah, I think I might. Have you done yours? No. No, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done mine either. It's really bad. But it, damn it, if we want to clean them, we can <laughs> we clean them. We know they're in there. Yeah, we can clean them if we want to clean them. Okay, we've got some nice little shoe birthing there. Look. Nice okay, yeah, detail, yeah, yeah. Not on the other side, though, which is cooler. And the reason it's not on the other side is because, first of all, we have the drop down sun visor mm, yes. here. Yeah. And, and I, I love this bit. Just, oh, why is it not just easily popping down? That's because they've made it so you need a little bit of. Uh, to get it down oh, okay. so it's ever so slightly locks it up and that stops it from hitting a really big bump and dropping yeah and dropping down but here that's what i'm talking about here you take this off and what do we put on here comms unit the comms the unit the, that's right the remote control goes there on the side and the brains go there um unlike the c5 the you don't have to you have to fit a microphone in this with this one the microphone is already fitted yes i did say yeah. that in one of my videos i was like how do i get the microphone <laughs> and then i realized it's already fit you don't need to yeah <laughs> exactly because the uh, speakers are already in here the microphone's already in here as are the three antennas to take care of um phones and radio and all that kind of all that bluetooth all that kind of stuff it has three separate antennas all ready to take care of it and obviously the one bummer about this though is the one thing i really like about the c5 because you don't need it no visor memory because you you don't need it on this because it's because it's a traditional full-faced helmet but yeah i mean i think that is oh ah, sorry i can't believe i forgot I wasn't going to say anything about the interior. That's the interior good. is fully customizable, which we'll come back to because I've had to make use of that. And we have this, which is the Aros system here, which is what holds the helmet, helps hold the helmet on your head. 
Okay, so it won't just get ripped off. This allowed shoe berth to move the actual micrometric strap, obviously very easy to use, on, off, well easy, you can do it with a gloved hand. Move that forwards so it's there rather than here. And they can put it there because the Aros anti-roll-off system, I think it is, the anti-roll-off system keeps it on. Um, yeah, it, it literally, it is so it's as complete a helmet as the C5. It's just not flip. Now, is that enough Whew, when it comes to specs? I think so. So where are these helmets made? These German helmets. German helmets, yes. So you're probably going to think I'm going to say something like, actually, they're made in the Far East. Uh-uh-uh. Not with shoe berth. I think Madigan, Mad, Maddie, 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 what is it, Chris? Magdeburg. Magdeburg. Magdeburg, not Germany. Germany, yes, but these are these are manufacturers, i.e., you know, a lot of this helmet is basically all made in Germany and all put together in Germany by hand. Oh, that is... Exactly. That's sweet. Exactly. So, and look, we all know when it comes to a lot of kind of German engineering, but you've got a German car. I do. You do, exactly. <laughs> um, so just think about that kind of philosophy, making sure, you know, okay... The whole closer Volkswagen door, closer BMW door, clonk. And plus, I've right away everywhere. <laughs> there is that, but <laughs> that kind of it's that kind of thing I'm talking about, and that's why these are so well built. And if you remember, uh, one of our good friends who paints our helmets for us, mm -hmm. when I'd said to him initially, I might need you to paint you a shoe berth, and he went, "Oh yeah, they are they are good to go. They're good to take apart and good to put back together because they're built so well." It's actually trickier for him to take the helmet into its individual pieces and put together than a lot of other helmets just because of how well these are built. Nice. Yeah. So, who are Schubert? Yes. So, I'm pretty sure one of the Formula One World Champions wears a Schubert helmet. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they actually do. Well, a car, but yeah. Well, <sighs> Formula One is, yeah, it's, 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 not a, it's not a Ford Fiesta. But still, but the point is, F1 racers would not put that on their heads if it wasn't amazing right? right and that are the people those are the people who create these lids okay cool and you answered that question yeah, and that's pretty impressive thanks the next uh, we're going to delve into the fit and feel of it yeah you've re you've had this for how many months uh, i've had one for a few months but i've only really started wearing it the past three months because so i've only ridden in mine once oh, okay okay now did you find it initially quite hard to put on yeah, but I think with all kind of lids, when you first put on, you're mm. like, whoa, oh, until it moles into your face. But as I say, with, with the flip lid, I would try to put it on the same as I, when I did my flip lid. And ah. I was thinking, hmm. And then I put it on as a yeah. full face lid, and I didn't really have a problem with it. Although I don't necessarily mean the fit once it's on. I mean the arrow system. Because if you're used to a lot of other helmets that don't have this system, when you first put it on, you get that... Yeah, you get that, that, that feeling. It's actually nothing to worry about. No. And that's one thing we think's worth saying because some people might try and try one of these on and go, oh, no, that's, that's not for me. Bear with it, get past it, and then the fit is absolutely lovely. And the reason I know the fit's lovely is because at the first, it didn't fit. No, you had that old... Uh... Yeah, I had... Uh, I think it's just the shape of my head. I had it with the C5 as well. I needed some adjustments made just at the front and just at the back but as we know and just like this the s3 has a fully customizable interior so let's talk about and it's the question that i get asked all the time and it's a question that you can't really answer is the noise ah. now for me uh, i don't i've never had any problems with it with uh, my c5 on the, like, the naked bikes or anything mm -hmm. like that but in my experience, when I went on a sports bike and my head was tipped down like this, mm. I was a bit, oh, it's a bit, it's not not loud, but... You're well, actually hearing you, you something can hear, for a change. I can hear yeah. something, and I was like, hmm, yeah. why is that? Well, basically, first of all, let's just say that Shoe Berth are pretty sure the only manufacturer that does extensive North wind testing, testing yeah, for so. noise, wind tunnel testing for noise. I don't think anyone else... It does that and we have to remember the c5 is primarily designed uh, adventure bikes upright naked bikes that is its market touring T right. right so let's go back to this wind tunnel now yeah. i know that the wind tunnel isn't your average wind tunnel it's an acoustically perfect wind tunnel explain okay um yeah uh, have you ever seen those rooms that you can go into and you get no noise whatsoever 
bit torture to England. Basically, you go into like a room and it have loads of things like spikes and yeah. it, it, you may have seen something like this. If you've never experienced it, it's well weird because you can hear all your body doing its body stuff. It's bizarre. Uh, shoe birth essentially have a motorcycle helmet testing version wind tunnel of one of those rooms okay so so the only noise being created is from the airflow over the helmet and that is how they're able to test these and get such precise readings uh, nobody else does this okay literally nobody else does this and they do they always do their tests i think it's 60 miles an hour Mm -hmm. Exactly, I think it's 80, 85 decibels, basically. Is it on a specific bike? Uh, I, th the I think they, they tend to test on naked bikes mostly. So, because how again, the because. The person, does that come into it? Or, uh, there's, there'll be millions of ways that they'd have to test it. So exactly. Just do... But they will sometimes use people, they'll sometimes use mannequins. Okay. You know, it's not something where they just pop someone on, give it a go, yeah, that seems all right. That's, it's it's, it's, it's Schubert, the German. It does not work like that. Okay. Trust me, for every helmet they make, every helmet they put in there, they go to town because that's just what they do. So, so far, I've got to say, my experience of this is is really good um you know like i say don't like flip lids but i will always appreciate just how fine that's a lie nah. you do <laughs> well no i do so I, I, I yeah but i mostly do that so we can we can talk but i appreciate the, the values that the c5s gives and the benefits of it except now i've, I've got it in in here in a full face in a full face exactly and once you once you get over getting it on through this bit here and you really have to you know a second let me just when you put it on especially right at the start you really have to pull that open like yeah. really I think, I pull it when i put it on i was like how is my head going to fit through here yeah we well, didn't think it was the right size did you no no and then it is it's just the safety it's basically just the safety system making it tricky but once you get once you get past that and you get it on you kind of like okay you get your fit right i mean most people are lucky it'll fit them straight away they won't actually have to muck about with the interior but what I've noticed is that I'm getting about pretty much the same level of quietness as the C5. So let's go on my experience. And yes. I've only worn this once, well, twice, mm -hmm. going to work and coming back to work. I um, found it comfortable. Yes, I found it a bit, uh, but I'm going to. Did you go to do that? Did you go? To, uh, uh. I did. <laughs> I thought, oh my God, no. <laughs> but taking it off was fine. It didn't like because I thought oh this is quite mm. it didn't like rip my ears off or Good. just pull it open slip it off yeah but yeah it's we, should, we need to get the comms on don't we, we? do it's, so, I mean, I can, so I can annoy you and just go <laughs> I've not because <laughs> <laughs> right. um, I want to see because talking to you on uh, on the C5 on the phone is um, I'll quite often ring Gemma when she's on the bike and you don't even know she's on the bike you don't even know the speed she's doing because you can't hear Something like that. Yeah, of course. But the point, because the system's so good, and I want to see if that's replicated in this. I don't see why it won't be, again, because it's basically the same helmet. Going back to when you talked to me um, on the phone, mm. you're not the only person who said that. Like, somebody's going, oh, where are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm on my bike. And they're like, oh, my God, do you want to ring you back? And I'm like, no, it's fine. <laughs> they're like, they have no I can't clue. even hear that you're on a bike. No, because, because, the, because the technology, you know, added to the shell and all the rest of it yeah. and the quietness of the helmet, people don't even realise you're on a motorbike. But what, what I will say is that sometimes you have to kind of adjust some of the, the levels because I can hear everything that you do, <laughs> even she turning can. a tap on, I'm like, turn it off! <laughs> <laughs> that is very, very true. But um, but the comms side of things, uh, we used them in Wales, it was brilliant, wasn't it? It was so We had, much we had fun. three or four of us all, all hooked up on this and... It was really great. So I'm looking forward to seeing... Uh, do you know what I'm also looking forward to? It's just summer. Come on, summer. I want to get my S3 out a bit more in summer. summer. Exactly, exactly, exactly. But um, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me too. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. And we need to catch people up. So what we'll do is we'll do some stuff on TikTok and YouTube as well, won't we? Yeah. To, to kind of document how we're getting on with these S3s. Because these are... Um, even when I first got the C5... And I'd gone, yeah, it's great, blah, 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 and the rest of it. And okay, you know, not so bad with flip moves. But I was like, this is the one I'm waiting for. <laughs> and we've got it. <laughs> so pleased. And I'm glad you are too. Yes, I am. Really. Now, if anyone wants to find out more about this helmet. Well, it's the only place. And that is bikeheads.co.uk.